According to this, Portland may now have to build a pretty costly water treatment plant at the Bull Run Reservoir. This after the parasite cryptosporidium was detected in the water supply earlier this year. Amy Frazier digging deeper into this with the latest. These are stringent regulatory standards that we have to meet. But at the same time, we can look our customers in the eye and say, your water is safe today. Between January and March, tests revealed small amounts of cryptosporidium in Portland's Bull Run drinking water. City leaders say there's been no increase in crypto-related illness and the public health risk is low. Still, Portland will soon need to start treating its water for the parasite. The federal government requires it across the country, but back in 2012, Portland earned an exception. The Oregon Health Authority issued Portland what's called a variance from treating Bull Run drinking water, essentially because it's been so clean. And, and that's what the premise of us getting the variance was, that we could produce water straight out of our watershed that would be the same as if it came out of a treatment plant. And we did fine with that for five years. Until this year. We had unusually heavy rains this winter and spring. <clears throat> there are a lot of animals in this protected watershed and we suspect that that washed a lot of animal waste into the Bull Run watershed. So far testing has been clear since March 12th. Still, the Water Bureau says it can no longer meet the terms of the variance for the year. So this fall, the Oregon Health Authority is revoking the variance and Portland will need to treat the water. The Bureau will present all the options, cost things out and give us a sense of what the impact on rates could be. And then the council will decide. And by September, we have to have a plan that we can present to the Oregon Health Authority. So how much could a water treatment facility cost? Well, previous estimates have been between $100 million and $385 million. It's unclear right now what kind of increase that could mean for rate payers. We'll continue to follow this developing story. Back to you. Yeah, you'll keep us updated. I know, Amy. Thank you.